Example number six on page 65. So we are given here the sum of n number of series of this series to be 16400. So they've given us Sn and what they want us to find here is the number of terms. So they're looking for n. So let's gather information. We know a is 5, r here will be 3, Sn for the unknown number of terms is this. So we're going to use the formula, the first one, for sum, because that's the one we have the most information for, and put in as much as we can for this formula. So what we know is that this is 16400, a is 5, 3 to the power of n minus 1 all over 3 minus 1. So what does that give me? 16400, 5 multiplied with a bracket divided by 2. So if I want to get these things, these ones which are multiplying and dividing with them, I want to get rid of them first. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. That will get rid of the 2 here. And I also will divide both sides by 5 so that I can get rid of this. Okay. So what does that give me? That gives me, so I am doing 2 times 16400 divided by 5, and that should give me 6561 equals 3n minus 1. So now to get rid of the negative 1, we will add 1 um, to both sides. Sorry, this should be a 0. So add 1 to both sides. So this, this gives me now 6561 equals 3 to the power of n. Now remember this, um, we did the guess and check method where we tried to make them the same base. So you're going to use your calculator here and try to see what to the power of 3 will give me 6561. So 6 to the power of 5. Uh, not big enough, 3 to the power of 11, way too big, 3 to the power of, let's say, um, 8, that's what it is. So we're going to rewrite that 6561 as 3 to the power of 8. Which means the bases are saying that n is actually 8. So we have our answer with making them the same base. And remember, you can do this question by also making it into a graphing um, one. So when I'm doing the graphing, I would start from this point because it's the easiest one to put into our graphing calculator. I don't want to do this. You could do it at any point. You could do it right at this point or afterwards. But I like to do from this point because it's simpler. I can adjust my windows a little better. But if you really want to go away from the algebra, which you shouldn't, you could input this part of your equation. This is y1 and this is y2. Okay. So I am going to put y1 as 6561 and y2 as 3n. Okay. So putting my 6, 5, 6, 1, and then putting the second one as 3 to the power of x. Okay. Remember, start with zoom 6. We know we're not going to see the y1 here because it's so high. So let's go into our windows and then change our y maximum to be a number bigger than this. So maybe 7,000 and graph it. So there we can see the intersection point. So then we go second trace, option number five. Take your cursor close to the intersection point, which is a good habit when we'll have multiple intersection points and enter three times. And it does give us that x is equal to 8. So it solves for us. 
So we can tell that n here is 8 through the intersection method.